Welcome back to Lisa Cooks Food. I'm Doug, this is Lisa, and for an early Mother's Day present, I got Lisa an air fryer. I've wanted one for a while, but I've heard it's kind of like a fancy convection oven, so maybe we just need to return it. But I got it for you as a gift. Well, we want it to be a good gift. So this is our first air fryer, so we're gonna really try it out with basic frozen foods. We've got corn dogs, we've got tater tots. So we're gonna take our corn dogs and tater tots and we're actually gonna cook them in the microwave, nope, cook them in the oven, as well as in the air fryer. And then we're gonna have a blind taste test to see which ones we like better and if that is the air fryer or not. A lot of beeping going on in here. So to prepare the corn dogs, we've used the confection setting on our oven and our brand new air fryer. The air fryer will take about half the time. It's corn dog time. This is the Power XL Vortex Air Fryer. Seven, Seven quarts. quarts. Yeah, it's racing. It's got racing stripes. That's how you know it's fast. <laughs> this is like watching paint dry. It really is. Look better. It smells like corn dogs. Yeah, corn dog paint. State Fair corn dog paint. Deep fried paint. So it's pretty quiet, mm -hmm. but not. <laughs> it's not silent. <gasps> it says off. It's ready. Okay, now we are going to let these cool a little bit as they are presently the temperature of the sun. One of these plates has the two corn dogs from the oven. The other plate has two corn dogs from the air fryer. A lovely bouquet. Oh, we're eating. Crispy? Mm-hmm. Crispy corn dog. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh. Less crispy. That is less crispy. Okay. This one's definitely better. Mm-hmm. Definitely better, crispier. I'm gonna guess air fryer. Because I'm hoping this machine is magic. <laughs> All right, what do we find? This is the air fryer. Ding. Point air fryer. Yay! Don't get rid of it, I gotta eat these. So now we're on to the tater tots. The time difference between the oven and the air fryer is even more extreme. Now it's like a quarter to a third of the time. That's a lot faster. So if they taste good, like, mm -hmm. you know, fry it up. Gonna shake this and see if it needs more time. More time. Off! It's ready. <laughs> Tots! Let's hear them. Mmm, sounding much crispier. They sound exactly the same. All right, now that these bad boys are both out of the oven and fryer. Our assistant is plating them behind us. And we will soon taste. Soon. In the meantime, enjoy our profile view. Okay, well, they look similar. They do. All right, which one are we tasting first? We can taste yours. Okay, very crispy. Very hot. This tastes really similar. I'm gonna guess air fryer on this one, but I think they taste the same as far as crispiness. Yeah, I can't really tell the difference. I'm gonna guess air fryer on that one. Okay, so I say air fryer here, Doug says air fryer here. I was right. I'm always right. That's a lie. Happy Mother's Day. What else can we fry? What else can we fry? So as you would expect with fried foods from the freezer, comes out pretty well. It's supposed to fry things, but what about things that you might want to fry that aren't pre-done like that, like your vegetables and... Right, everyone wants to fry all their vegetables. <laughs> vegetables are healthy, but you gotta fry them in order to get them down. So I just cut some zucchini into wedges. I am going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top, just enough to coat it and get the spices to stick, because we're not actually frying these. A little pepper, a little salt. That's a little salt, all right. We'll get these good and coated and into the basket. I'm good, I'm, there we go, <laughs> nailed it. I've never done this before, so I'm making a guess on how long to fry these. I'm just going to start with a few minutes and sure, 375. It's got the racing stripe. Like Knight Rider. <laughs> All right, these don't look done to me. I'm gonna test it with a fork. Nope, not yet. Ooh, look at that. That's lovely. Perfect. 
Yeah, we're gonna have leftover zucchini. Now the instructions specifically say not to dump this basket because any oil that dripped down in there would then pour onto your food. So zucchini's done. Let's taste it. Okay. Well, that salt stuck to it. It did. It's pretty salty, but it's pretty good. Little gushy. Okay. All right, get that crap out of here. So vegetables are all good and well, but you know, I really like a crispy edge on pasta. Can we crisp up some pasta? Let's do it. I've got some frozen tortellini here. How did you know? I'm just going to put a little bit in this bowl and oil it up. Just, just a drizzle of oil. This is garlic infused olive oil, actually. Again, never done this, so. I'm sure it'll be great. It says to boil it for five minutes, so surely it can't be more than five in the air fryer, right? We want crisp. Let's bump up the heat. Start at 15 minutes and count down, huh? What could go wrong? I'm starting to smell some Italian smells, so I'm gonna give them a shake at least. Ooh, yeah. Brown and crispy. I think those are done. I think they are done. That was five minutes? Yep. Okay, you're not supposed to, but I'm gonna. Nobody look, nobody, nobody look in there, <laughs> don't, don't look. Fried tortellini, they're crispy and brown. And hot. Oh, interesting. I think those would be good with a marinara dipping sauce. Yeah. Crispy, cheesy on the inside. Okay, so we've coated some stuff in oil. Yeah. And air fried it. Yep. Let's take it to a weird place. I thought we might be able to make a grilled cheese sandwich. Mm. Let's try it. It makes things crispy. Grilled cheese should be crispy. Should be. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get me some marinara. So for grilled cheese, I've just buttered two slices of bread, put some cheddar cheese in the middle, and we'll pop it in. Okay. So this is exactly what you would do on a griddle. Sure. Yeah. You're just putting it in an air fryer. Yes. I'm putting it butter side down, the top piece with butter side up. I'm gonna say 375. Let's start with three minutes. Okay. And then you're gonna have to flip it though. Yes, I think we should flip it, but we'll, we'll flip it after two. Okay. Two and two. We're just gonna take a peek. Okay. Oh, oh, oh there's been an incident. There's been an incident. Okay. The bread has blown away. The cheese went with it. Oh no. Who moved my cheese? Who moved my cheese? That's so gross. Okay. Air fryer! Okay, I know a trick. I'll be right back. What's going on? <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> oh no! What are you looking for? Oh, it's in there, okay. So if you've got something flying away and you put a rack on top, it'll keep it from flying away. Oh, see? I see. Rack on top of the sandwich. You know what's making sounds? So I'm gonna, oh, it's starting to brown. Man, I thought it'd be ready by now. You know what, I'm gonna flip it. Look at that! Look at that beautiful sandwich. That all gooky cheese that was on the rack and underneath washed right out. Okay, good. We can't both taste it, unless we're gonna do like a Lady and the Tramp thing. Mmm. That's right. We did it. We're fancy. I don't think it's too crispy, however. It's too crispy. It took a lot longer than a regular grilled cheese on the stove and Meh. And the top blew off once. True. If you've made weird stuff in an air fryer, mm -hmm. drop a comment down below. We'd love to try things out. Right. Who knows? This is new to us, so uh, I'm sure there will be more air fryer goodness <laughs> in the future, especially if you guys give us ideas. Do you want to make cookies? Yeah. Do you want to finish that sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> All right, to make cookies, I've just got, because we're doing this real quickly, some Nestle Toll House dough in a tube. And I'm going to use parchment paper because I'm afraid that this would just drip down through that rack. So we're going to trim the parchment to fit. We're gonna put it in the bottom of the basket. Now in theory, these will be more uh, crispy. Crispy. Because that seems to be what the air fryer does. Let's do 350 for five minutes. Engage. That's right. Use more cheese. <laughs> Lost some cheese in the process. Mm -hmm. Why is this sizzling? Well, you know. Oh, because mm. there was an incident. Hey. Cookie-like things. Cookie-like things. Oh my. 
Oh my, indeed. There. Almost. Left a little cookie bit in there. Oh, there you go. Perfect. They need to cool and they'll firm up a little. Get rid of them. Soft, gooey in the middle, crisp on the edge. Very I, I mean, gooey. raw in the middle. Raw is the word. It's somehow both overcooked and undercooked. Mm hmm. Yes. It's the worst cookie I've ever had! <laughs> so if you like really crispy cookies, like really crispy. Right. You might be able to pull that you off. Might be able to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do it in an air fryer. Mm hmm. It'll be faster. You'll mm -hmm. love them. We don't like those kind of cookies, so. Yeah. I'd rather just eat the cookie dough. Okay, so we made, tasted, and tested a bunch of stuff. What did we learn? Well, the prepared fried foods like corn dogs and tater tots do very well in this machine, usually in a lot faster time than the oven. The corn dogs were crispier, so I would say they're at least as good as oven baked and sometimes even better. And faster. Then, if you want to coat stuff in oil and give it a little bit of crisp, that actually worked really well. It did. Everything we tried. Really good. Yeah, the zucchini, the tortellini were both crispy and great. I'm sure if you coated potatoes, they'd be delicious as well. So then we learned about grilled cheese. Not the best machine for grilled cheese. No, that top layer of bread just blew right off in this windy vortex inside. <laughs> and it wasn't even any faster than just doing it on a griddle. Right. And then cookies. Mm. I'm told that this thing can bake a variety of dishes. I'm gonna have to play around a lot more to figure that out because these cookies did not turn out well. No, no, more baked goods. Oh, no. So if you have air frying ideas or other video ideas, you can email us at lisa at lisacooksfood.com or you can drop a comment below in the YouTube stuff. Okay, are you gonna keep the air fryer? Yes, I'm gonna keep your Mother's Day present. It's lovely, thank you. You're welcome. Bye.